What's up guys, this is Danny Matranga with Mind Pump TV and today I'm going to take you guys through a complete glute workout from start to finish, go over exercises, sets, reps, and how to properly execute them so that you can hit the target muscle effectively, efficiently, and safely. The first exercise in our glute focused leg day is going to be a barbell hip thrust. We really want to overload the glutes, so we're going to start with kind of the king of all glute exercises, the hip thrust. Just like if you were going to do a chest day, you might start with a bench press, a shoulder day, a shoulder press, a back day, maybe a pull up. For a glute specific leg day, we want to start with a glute dominant exercise. And the barbell hip thrust is the best one that I can think of that will both safely and effectively overload the glutes and allow us to continue on through the workout without additional stress on the low back, knees, etc. So setup is critical, right? I want to make sure that I get down on the ground with my upper back on the bench. I should kind of use my shoulder blades as a measuring stick, if my shoulder blades are below the bench, I'm gonna need to scoot up a little bit, right? Once I get into position, I'm gonna roll the barbell out over my hip. Now, we made an entire video on setup and execution for the hip thrust because there are some advanced things that might pop up. If you need a reference point, we're gonna link the description, in the description below, we're actually gonna link that video. So please check that out if you have a hard time maybe feeling this in your glutes. Once we get set up, right, vertical shins, hips in extension, firm grip on the barbell, chin tucked, posterior pelvic tilt at the top. We're going to do five sets. Second exercise we're going to do today is going to be a walking lunge. Now we're going to make a little tweak to the walking lunge and how it's traditionally done to better place demand on the glute versus the quad. When you do walking lunges normally, the load is kind of dispersed evenly between the quad and the glutes for most people. But if we extend the length of the stride, right, get more hip flexion and extension, we're going to actually increase demand on the glute. So we're going to be working on focusing on a longer stance lunge for exercise two. The third exercise on this glute specific leg day is going to be the Romanian deadlift. The long stance lunge has a little bit of a knee flexion component, right? And it can load the quads a little bit. So we're going to go back to a hip extension focused exercise. Just like the hip thrust, the Romanian deadlift does emphasize hip extension, which is a primary function of the glutes. But when it's loaded this way, you're also going to get a ton of hamstring. So when you set up for the exercise, I recommend picking it up just like you would a conventional deadlift. And then from the top, we execute the Romanian. Unlocking the knees, setting the hips backward as we keep our spine and chest, our chest up and our spine kind of neutral straight. We let the barbell travel down close to the shins. Once you feel a stretch in the hamstring, extend up quickly. You can squeeze the glutes a little bit at the top. Key thing here is we don't wanna go into hyperextension, right? We simply just wanna finish an extension. Like so. The fourth and final piece of our glute emphasized leg day is going to be a band finisher. I'm going to show you guys three movements you can utilize. The first one's going to be a ball hip thrust with the band. That's going to get all three muscles of the glute complex firing. The next two are going to be specifically for the glute medius and minimus, and they're going to be abduction exercises and you're gonna run through that circuit a couple times to really try to get a nice pump, and that'll do it. Execution for this exercise is simple. We wanna make sure that we keep our chin tucked and have a nice pivot point through the upper back for our hip extension and our thrust. The second thing we wanna do is make sure our shins are vertical and we are pushing out against the band the entire time. And from there, you're simply going to go into full range of motion, hip thrusts, pushing out against the band the entire time. You're going to fatigue the gluteus medius, minimus, and maximus on this exercise, and it serves as a great first band workout for this finisher. The second exercise in our finisher is going to be banded hip abductions. Again, I like to be on the ball. You can be on a bench or even the floor. The cues remain the same. We want the shins vertical. From there, I like to keep my hands on my hips. My feet should be four to five inches apart, and I'm going to push outward through my knees hard. I should be pushing out enough to get onto the lateral edge of my toes. 
And from here, you should really feel the pump accumulating in the outer portion of your glutes. And as you get more and more fatigued, you might even feel it in the upper portions of your glutes. That's your cue to know that you're doing it correctly. The last exercise in our finisher is going to be a lateral band walk. Again, just like the banded abduction, you're going to feel this one kind of on the outside of the glute hip area and even into the upper glute as you start to fatigue. The setup is simple. We want our feet just outside shoulder width apart. Hands are going to be on the hips. I like to do this with straight legs. It makes it a little bit harder. If you need to regress it, simply bend the knees. From here, we're going to step to the right, making sure that the secondary leg follows but doesn't come all the way in. So it's gonna look like this, and then we go back and forth, right? Keeping the legs straight if you're advanced, and bending the knees if you need to regress. And if you're really crazy, you can start with the band straight, leg straight, and regress once you reach fatigue and try to push it beyond that initial point of failure. That's gonna get you the nicest pump, and it's exactly how you should perform a finishing exercise. So to wrap things up, let's review. The first exercise, a barbell hip thrust, you're gonna perform five sets in a pyramid style. 15, 12, 10, eight, and then the, fi the fifth and final set will be for 20 repetitions. You'll be increasing weight as you descend in reps, and then when you hit the last rep and go to 20, drop the weight and try to burn out and get the most pump you can in the gluteus maximus. The second exercise, the long stance lunge, three sets of eight to 12 reps per leg. Again, focusing on feeling the glutes a little more than the quads. The third exercise, the Romanian deadlift, we're gonna perform for three sets of eight to 12 reps as well. Again, focusing on accumulating tension in the glutes and hamstrings, doing that one slow and under controlled. And the last thing of the day, the band finisher. I want you guys to run through all three of those exercises for three sets of 30 to 60 seconds each. If you reach fatigue before that, that again is completely fine because the goal is to take the glutes to a place of overreaching or overloading safely. And bands are great for that because again, they use very little external load. All right, thanks for tuning in, you guys. If you guys liked that video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Also, if you have any questions regarding this video, just leave them in the comments below. We'll be coming back periodically and answering those for you.